Then first came in as an active shooter at the school and dozens of officers raced to the scene. Our Amy Frazier joins us now with more on how the dispatchers handled those calls. Amy? As you're about to hear, dispatchers and police stayed calm and focused. The situation was intense with information changing by the minute. Here's how things unfolded with information at the time during the first 12 minutes. To the Park Rose High School, we're getting reports in the tennis court that a male just pulled out a gun and shot himself. Private right school. And we're getting another caller reporting the same, saying that it looks like there may be a teacher yelling at some kids, saying there's an active shooter at the school. Um, another one calling in saying there's no shots from inside the school. We're getting an update now from a teacher online saying she saw a male walk into the classroom with a shotgun, said he was struggling with security officers, and they were in uh, the Fine Arts building. Did I have a male? down here. I'm being told by the teacher that in this fine arts building that is right behind the baseball stadium, there's a male here with a shotgun, and I can smell what smells like a blast here at some point. This is a, possibly going to be an active shooter now at Park Rose High School. Need more cars, so. We're slowly moving eastbound along this arts wing. Copy. Clear the first classroom lot in there. Security guard may have the shooter. Can you let us know where that is, please? 641, we're going to right now. 41, copy, going into custody. Can you give me your location? Well, we need to establish if there's just one shooter or multiple. We have not confirmed that yet. We are being told by school staff that campus security has this person somewhere. We're trying to locate that now. Being told that there is no one injured in the school and that this is the only shooter. Copy, campus security with the active shooter and in custody on the western side of the building by the fine arts building and no other shooters. We have the shotgun. A teacher had recovered it. We have an officer with that. Police continued to search the school. They set up a perimeter around the school and also started working on a plan of how and where to eventually reunite students with their worried parents. Back to you. Absolutely dramatic and frightening at the same time.